Hey, Jared Mann here, bringing you my latest Perth property market update. Final one for 2014. We've had a lot of changes in the sale market, so stay with us. I'm going to go through those, as well as the rental market and investment opportunities available. So, taking a look at the sale market, things have actually changed a hell of a lot over the last two months. In October, when I last came to you, we had 10,823 properties on the market. November, we saw that jump very substantially up to 12,740-odd, and now we're at 13,280. That's the single biggest month-on-month -month increases that we've seen in the last 18 months, two years. So a really big increase in the supply of properties. And um, I actually predicted that back in October as I saw the number of properties every week coming on exceeding what was being sold, but it's happened to a much greater extent than I ever thought it would. And so we're now officially in a, in a full-on neutral market. Uh, the typical point um, that we've crossed to become a neutral market is 12,000 properties. We're now at 13,280. So what that means for buyers is there's a hell of a lot more choice out there. Sellers have to be really um, sharp on price. And uh, what we start to see happening is looking at recent sales start in some areas will not even, uh, it'll give us some guide, but the market um, you know, may have shifted slightly down on where those sales are at. So just because uh, properties have recently sold in the last two to three months for a price, um, you're gonna have to be a bit more realistic as to what we might get um, in some areas now. But for buyers, great news. Um, there'll be a lot more choice. You can afford to take your time, make sure that a property fully suits what you're after before making an offer, and you're not as likely to have competition. But for sellers, if you are pricing the property well, marketing it well, um, you know you, you can still get a result um, in this market. It's still neutral. We're not in a buyer's market just yet. Um, so you know certainly some changes. And what I expect to happen moving forward now is uh, you know there'll be very few buyers out in the market over the next month. Uh, everyone generally has a break for Christmas, a break for holidays, and we probably won't see buyers return until the second or third week of January at least. So um, there's a lot of uh, sellers that will be preparing their house over this time and we'll probably see a whole range of new properties hit the market second, third week of Jan. I've got a few ready to come on myself. So, And um, when we take a look, just wrap, wrap, uh, capping out the sale market, the number um, that have been selling have been sticking um, relatively consistent. So it's not um, the... Uh, the number of sales every week have decreased. It's just that we've got a, a lot more stock coming on and uh, the, the number of sales hasn't increased with it. Then when we go across to the rental market, I'm pretty encouraged there for investors. Um, we're finally seeing um, the stats show that, uh, that we're coming back from our um, peak of supply. The, the rental vacancy rate has uh, hit its maximum in uh, September at 4.1%. We then had it drop um, to 4% and 3.9% in November, and we've stuck at that 3.9. So we're heading back the other way, which is great. Um, rental prices will start to stabilize, but it's still a shock for those investors that haven't released their property. When they're coming up for, for releasing, expect around a 10% drop. And the most difficult one is when we get a break lease. The tenant wants to move on. The tenant has to agree to the drop in rent as well as the owner and uh, it's a difficult one to negotiate, so they're, they're our main sticking point at the moment. But given um, if we can price the property right, market it well, it should only take two to three weeks to find a tenant, and um, you know, we're starting to get a few more applications uh, coming in on, on properties and just getting back to normal. Um, we've really got about another week in December to find tenants, and then that'll go quiet uh, for the rental market as well. So. Um, don't delay in finding a tenant um, over the next week, otherwise you could be up for three to four weeks further vacancy um, uh, before the market starts to kick in back in January. Now investment opportunities in this market. I'm just going to summarise it by saying be very selective. If you're looking at a development site or a subdivision, make sure the numbers really stack up. You've got to have them stack up to insulate you. Um, against any changes in the market. And uh, if you are looking for a longer term buy and hold, my advice is take a very strong look at dual income property. I'm very excited about um, what that can do for an investor's portfolio. Um, 
having a, a high positive cash flow every week is certainly better than having to reach into your pocket and it also insulates you against any changes in the market and, um, and will add to your uh, income. So you can't um, go backwards by making a profit and that's a great um, you know, strategy to look at for this time on the market. That's uh, everything I wanted to cover today. I wanted to keep it sharp, snappy for you. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas ahead. Um, I am available over the next few weeks to do appraisals, just to, if you wanna reassess and start doing some planning for next year. I've also got my property success plans. I'm happy to sit down with you and get your strategy right for 2015. <laughs>